Hey y'all, it's Michelle from Monkey's Creations, Mrs. Monkey. What's everybody doing today? It has finally stopped raining. So tomorrow should be a nice sunny day, hopefully by the pool for a couple of hours. Let's see if I can get y'all pulled up. What's everybody been doing today? I've been working like a dog, y'all. Hey, working like a dog. Lord. My fingers are raw. Hello, hello. What's up? So what y'all been doing? Are you having a good weekend? The rain has stopped and we're not getting rain again until Wednesday, so they say. So I'm excited. So the water should start to recede and we should be able to get back to normal around here. Hello, hello. I didn't float away. I didn't. We can start, you're here now? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Are you enjoying the, uh, the park, Lori? Did y'all make it after you ate them nasty grits? Ugh. Hello from Las Vegas. Hello, hello. So, who hasn't seen the tree boards? Tree boards, unique in the creek. Now, I still have the old one, um, but the new one, um, I'm assuming, is the same. Uh, thank you for floating my boat. Y'all go float my boat. So, this is what we're going to be doing the angel on. And I have already put in most of my zip ties. I've even started... Um, the petals, because this one seems to take a little bit longer. Oh, you got tornado warnings. I'm so sorry. You love grits. Ugh. Thank you. Thank you. So, I've already started. Um, so, what I've done is, so when you go on uniqueinthecreek.com, and I've told y'all this before, when you click on whatever board you're looking at, the template is right there with it, okay? So go in there, print out your templates. That way when you lay all this out, because y'all, it's been, it's been months since I made the angel. So I was, I was like, oh, I don't remember. So we're winging it again tonight. Um, but what I've done is I have laid it out. So we are doing one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way across. Okay, if y'all can see that. You did all right at a craft show today? Awesome. Awesome sauce. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna leave the two on each side empty because that's where our wings are gonna go. And we're going to do these, 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 and then we're going to be left with one. If I'm remembering correctly, that is where our head is going to be. Okay. Now, all I did was spray paint or paint a four inch half styrofoam ball. The, the new ones, the new plastic ones, we move the edges closer. Oh, awesome. Okay, so you'll have more hole, or there's still the same amount of holes though, right? I said awesome sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so I painted a four inch. <laughs> the dog styrofoam ball. Uh, now I haven't sealed it or finished it, so I, um, it's not finished. And then what I've done is I've taken, 
a, um, a pipe cleaner, and it's the same way I did the other, except I couldn't find the same. It's the, the, the balls that I used in the other one are in my Christmas, and I went through four boxes and still couldn't find them. Okay, same amount of holes. So still the same, but they're closer. Um, so all these are are those um, the foam fillers that y'all have seen me many times put on the tips of the um, the twist ties on the work frames. It's the same thing. So all I did was hot glue them straight across the pipe cleaner. And then when you spread them out, it kind of creates that little gap that I think is so cool looking. So that's how I did the, um, no, it's not in place. It'll go down a little further um, once I get it in place. Howdy, howdy. Um, but that's all I did to create the, the halo, okay? Um, Mandy, Sandy, whatever your name is. You know how you like go through all your kids' names before you get the right one? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so, and then I'll hot glue it in place, okay? And then it'll go right here on the top. Hello, hello, thanks for floating my boat. So that's all we did for the head. So, um, this petal, I've already made some of them. I've got some of them that I haven't made. I spray painted all, or I spray painted. I um, I didn't spray paint my mesh at all. <laughs> It's been a long day. Um, I cut all my mesh at 10 inches. So I'm using 10 inch rose gold, cut it 10 inches, right? And then I've got the 10 inch um, kind of cream and gold that we're gonna use for the wings. And that is also cut at 10 inches, okay? Now, if I counted right, like I said, I hadn't made this in a many, many months. If I counted right, we're gonna need 53 of the rose gold pieces, and then two, four, six, no, one, two, maybe eight to 10 pieces of the cream and gold, okay? What color did I paint the head? I believe it was, um, I've got it right over there. I believe it was khaki. Hold it down. Yes, it was khaki. Crapple, crapple, bear, apple barrel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe we just need to cancel this live because I've been using crapple berry paint. <laughs> So it's apple barrel khaki. <laughs> you can't see what I finished. Oh, you can't wait to see it finished. Awesome. So it should look, I'm hoping it's gonna look just like my other one. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. It should. It should, it should. So I will bring y'all down and we can get started. <laughs> oh Lord, I don't know how tonight's gonna go, but we'll see. <laughs> Cause we're on day six y'all, day six of seeing my face. Okay, so I've already started, like I said, I've done the first row, second row, some of the third. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. Thank you for floating my boat. So I'm gonna, I've got a bunch made, so I'm just gonna periodically make a new one. Now I did heat seal this because it is very thin mesh. Um, so I did seal it with the impulse sealer. Um, just because I knew it was gonna fray quite a bit. Cut that one piece off. So all we do, like I said, this is 10 by 10. Um, we're gonna start with the curved side up. It's even hard to see on my mat, isn't it? But curved side up, turn it into a triangle, 
bring one corner down to the opposite corner, just like that. Gonna flatten it out, and then you're gonna bring this corner down to the bottom, just like we start a lot of other petals. So it should look something like that. And then this corner down to there. So this is what we have, okay? And then all I'm gonna do is tug on this end Kind of flatten that out and then right here where our points meet or to make sure that we get all that mesh in there is where we're going to gather it and that is the petal and you can kind of arrange it how you need it and they're not all going to look exactly the same hello hello so this is gonna be our petal that we're using as the main dress for our, um, for our angel. Forgot my clip bucket. And then we're just gonna clip these edges. Just like that. And we're gonna stick them right into our zip ties, just like that. Trying to make sure that we line them up as best we can, okay? And that is it. Thank you for floating my boat. Um, you can, I've, I've seen people do this same fold on the Christmas tree, yes. Um, so you can do it. I mean, there's so many petals you can do on that tree um, and even on the angel. Um, you just got to play and, and see which one you like. I'm not blurry on my end. This is regular deco mesh regular deco mesh, but it's really thin. Um, so that's why I cut it with the impulse sealer so it wouldn't fray as much. You're really not gonna see the frays with this fold anyway, um, but I just didn't want it. I didn't want it at all, at all, at all. Am I blurry? I mean, it's still, the, the rain has stopped, so it shouldn't be weather related. The rose gold, going out and come back in. Okay, the rose gold probably came from, I got it last year because this was in my Christmas stash. So it had to have come from the wreath shop. So once again, curve side up, triangle, corner to corner, just like that. Try to get your ends together. And then bring it down, not blurry there. Okay, okay, awesome. Oh, hello, Brenda. Same thing to the other. Sometimes they can look kind of wonky, but that's okay. So just pull your end, hold it right there where it meets, gather it, and then shape it from there. Easy peasy, right? Well, hello from Virginia. You made it, you made it to the party. Watching everybody's lives, y'all. I mean, Lori has so many tutorials um, on her channel and just, you know, watching and taking in as, as much as I can from other people's lives. You can learn so much from just watching other people and all the different petals and, 
everything out there. Um, if I'm correct, I'm thinking 53 of this kind of petal. Okay. Now I do have some already made, so as people come in, I will make more. You made it, you made it, awesome. So what's everybody planning tomorrow? Any big plans? What are y'all doing? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all gonna make me blush. All right, so we've got one more here. Trying to clean out your craft room. <laughs> Y'all don't even want to see mine. It is horrible. I keep saying I'm going to get in there and then something else pops in my mind and I got to make it. Hello, hello. Taking you to brunch. Awesome. I don't know what we're doing. So we're just gonna keep going. We've got three more rows. Thank you for floating my boat. Killing your husband, uh-oh, what'd he do? What'd he do now? Well, I've told y'all before, last year I got my husband a, um, I think it was a 70 inch TV for the garage. And I wish I had done it years ago because now I hardly ever see him. He's always in the garage <laughs> watching TV. <laughs> Work and then dinner. Spreading, huh? I spreading eye monkey love. <laughs> the heck. <laughs> I think you had too many grits. <laughs> Thank you so much, y'all. Just cutting these zip ties off as we go. How many rolls? Um, I had two partial rolls and then a full roll. Um, so I'm thinking about a roll and a half. Um, now I did mine 10 by 10. You can do these nine by 10 and, and get some more. Um, but I, I don't remember. Um, I think you're still gonna have to break out that second roll, but not for very many. Thank you for floating my boat. Hello, hello. Michelle, how do I attach a sign to a wreath? It's one of them trucks. Um, what I did was um, I took some foam, stuck it on, each corner and I um, stapled it right to the board. I, if you go back and, and watch that live, I showed you exactly how I did it. Um, but there's a bunch of different ways. You can use E6000. Um, you can use DAP, you can use so many things. Um, even eye hooks, eye hooks. Grits is not even a thing there. Only curious for the first time and loved it. Ugh. Girl, I remember we used to go to camp and they used to try to make me eat oatmeal. Uh, I'm out. I ain't eating no daggone oatmeal. 
you already have the wreath made, yeah, just do that. So who hasn't heard of Unique in the Creek? Who has not heard of them? Who has not used the boards, any of them? Anybody, anybody? Thumbs up if you have never used the boards. You don't like oatmeal either? Mm-mm, no, it just stinks. It's, I'm a, uh, yeah, mm-mm. I'm a texture girl, and it just, you don't even look. Oh my goodness, look at all them thumbs up. So, they have so many different boards. They've got the flower board, they've got the character board, um, they've got the tree board, um, where you can make gnomes and ice cream and all different kinds of things out of them. Um, so you can go to Unique in the Creek on Facebook, hit the Shop Now button, and it should take you to their site, or you can go to uniqueinthecreek.com and um, look at all the amazing boards and the digital prints. Uh, they have, you know, tons of digital prints that you can mod podge directly to the boards. Um, and then at checkout, you can use CREATE. That is my new code, C-R-E-A-T-E. -E. And you save 10% off. So if you're on the fence about trying them, you get to save 10%. So go order, you know, two or three of each. And, um, and try them out, y'all. They are so much fun. Oh, now I can eat me some oatmeal cookies. Some oatmeal raisin cookies, y'all. Mm-mm. I sit and eat the whole daggone box. Um, this is kind of like the the Swedish braid. Um, now with deco mesh, it's a little bit harder to get that perfect um, fold. Um, but that, that's kind of, I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like on a, like a regular piece. Um, it's a really cool fold, but I do it, you know, I cut, because I kind of pull the ends, it kind of elongates it. Um, and I don't do that when I'm actually doing a Swedish braid wreath. Um, but for this one, I do. I'm making an angel, an angel, an angel. So who's new to my page? Who's never seen me before? Try them, you'll love them. No, this is not the Dean Michael fold. No, ma'am. Now she may do it, but it, it's not that's not the, the typical Dean Michael fold that you see most people do. You're new, Peggy. Awesome. Well, welcome. I am Michelle from Monkeys Creations. So if you have any questions about anything, ask. If nobody answers you, ask again because that means I didn't see it. But most of these girls are, are pretty good about answering. Most of them have been watching me for quite a while. Um, but if you still don't get the answer, send me a message. I'll answer you. Regina's new too. Brenda, Bambi, Linda, all y'all new. Welcome. Awesome. Always excited to see new people. So like I said, if y'all have any questions, let me know. If you want to hop over after I'm live, don't leave me yet. Don't leave me. After I'm done, you can hop over to Unique in the Creek and check out some of the awesome wreaths that all these girls make. Um, and see how it's done. But I've got 
I've got over a hundred tutorials um, on my page. Not all unique in the creek because I make regular wreaths as well. Um, so there's all kinds of tutorials under my videos, but you can go to YouTube. YouTube has tons of all unique in the creek. Um, let me get some already made here. You can learn all kinds of new things. I know, look at all the newbies, I'm excited. I'm excited y'all are here. So, if you're new here, you don't know what float my boat means. So float my boat means you hit the S-H-A-R-E button that we're not allowed to say. You hit that and invite all your friends to come watch too. That's just my funny way of saying, share. <laughs> Get the word out. I'm just using old, um, my phone, my husband's phone is going insane, y'all. I'm about to throw it outside in the pool. Um, they're just regular wire cutters. That's all they are. I need to get some new ones, but I haven't done it yet. This is an unusual color. This is the, the famous rose gold that was really popular last year. Um, and it looks like it's gonna be really popular this year because I already have orders for it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So we've got two more rows. It can go pretty quickly. What I usually do is I'll sit down and I'll do all these folds and just use the clothespins. Um, that way I can come back up to the table and just slam them in and uh, it goes pretty quickly. I, yes, I will definitely show that fold again. Yeah, I've got some more. I didn't fold them all, so I will show it definitely. You like it? Awesome. Very popular. I'm not really a rose gold fan, um, but I did, y'all. I found some awesome Nike slip-ons that had the rose gold Nike across the top. I'm not usually a rose gold fan, but they were pretty. So I had to get me a pair. Don't tell my husband. Shh. Don't tell him. They're in my closet. They've been in there quite a while. <laughs> okay, so 10 by 10 piece. Let me show you on a regular, it might be I'll show you after the live. Remind me when we come to the end and I'll show you on a regular piece um, and you might be able to see it easier. Um, but it's curved side up, turn into a diamond shape, bring corner to corner, just like that. Just like how we start our roses and so many of us kind of gather it, make sure it's as close as you can, doesn't need to be perfect. Bring this corner to this corner. So it looks something like that, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing to this side and bring this corner straight down to where they meet. So it kind of looks like that, okay? And then kind of, I kind of pull Flatten this part out and right here where everything meets together, you wanna to make sure you get all of that in a zip tie. And then just kind of shape it, you know, sometimes this will be kind of more poofed in, um, but I like it kind of cupped, just like that. And then I just clip off the ends. I usually leave about an inch 
left because you don't need all of that up here in your way when you're trying to put in your next petal. I am in Texas. 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes south of Houston. Where we're getting all the floods. And then, oh my gosh, we've made national news. So barges collided right here in Galveston Bay. And so yesterday when I got off the live, I went outside and just the smell of um, gas. I'm looking in the garage thinking maybe, you know, my son spilled gasoline trying to fill the mower or something. Um, so I, I'm out there on Facebook and they say that two barges collided out there in the bay and gas is all over in the bay and that wind is blowing it straight to us. So I sat out there about 10 minutes with the dogs. I just got a horrible headache. Um, and then I was like, oh my goodness. And then figured out what it was. But it was, oh, it was horrible. My screen froze for some reason. We're not froze on my phone, right? I'm not really sure. They want you to engage with people but they don't want you to use that word. So I'm not really sure. Now I, you know, I've seen other people who've commented with the post actually from Facebook. Um, so it looks like it's legit. Um, but you know, I kind of like to have fun. So I just say float my boat cause it's fun. And eventually everybody will learn it, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'll catch on. Yeah, and then um, Scott couldn't even get his live button on his phone this morning. So he's all panicking and, and then I'm starting to panic because, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to go live tonight. Um, but mine was still there. So I, I think he got his figured out by the time his live was over. Where do you find these boards? Unique in the Creek. Unique in the Creek on Facebook. Uniqueinthecreek.com. They have all kinds of boards for their character boards. She has done all kinds of amazing images um, that you can mod podge directly to your boards. Um, so you can decorate the Senna's. Um, however, ooh, that pedal's wonky. We can fix that one. There we go, much better. Um, but yeah, go check them out. All kinds of boards and things that you can do with these. I mean, this is a tree board that I, you know, we make angels out of. You can make Christmas trees out of them. Um, you can do so many things. Oh no, you had neck surgery. That's no bueno. No good. But yeah, go check them out. And then you can save 10% by using the code at, on uh, the coupon code, all capital C-R-E-A-T-E. -E, um, and that'll save you 10%. Oh, and Uncle Sam Digital would be awesome, wouldn't it? Well, happy Mother's Day to you too. Pizza, see? Make it, Rose. You ain't even finished the other one you keep teasing us about. When are you gonna finish it? Oops, I'm sorry, Mandy. I'm sorry, she's sitting right here by my feet. You were making, oh goodness, you were making a pointed, and I just missed it, sorry. Shoot me a message. I have no idea what that said, babe. I hate zip ties. <laughs> no, but um, I just because I've I've done so many with zip ties lately that my hands are are done. My hands are done. But um, yeah, I mean you can use zip ties on these boards. Um, so you want to use 18 pounds. I cut that one kind of short. Um, you want to use 18 pound zip ties. Um, I generally get my zip ties from Amazon. 
Um, cause I can get, I buy them a thousand. I buy, usually I buy four bags of a thousand at a time. Um, and they're usually like 10 or $11. Um, but I get the, the five and a half inch. So I would recommend anywhere from five and a half on up. You really don't need any more than six inch. Um, but I find five and a half works really well. Um, and I, I really don't, I've never had to go up. Need to talk, take care of yourself. Oh, uh, was that the same one? <laughs> you know I'm a little slow. Like that, but the potato, I don't, it took me forever to figure that out. <laughs> the potato joke. So there, we're almost, look how pretty that is. It's so shimmery, so shimmery. The sun may be out tomorrow, so I may be able to take pictures. I've got all these wreaths I need to take pictures of. I, I got tired of waiting, Jan. I waited too long. The people were getting restless. I had to start. <laughs> I had to start. Oh yeah, my dogs are going crazy. My son's got friends over, I think. And they hear everything. Thank you so much. Lucky you know, girl, it's been raining here for three days with floods and everything else. So we'll gladly share the rain. I don't know. I'll let the, the, the lady who's buying it name her because this one is already sold. Let her name her. She said she was going to be watching. I haven't seen her pop on yet, though. Rain for you tomorrow. Well, I'm ready for some sunshine. But we're used to it this time of year. This is our rainy season. Yeah, I've got some right here, but I get in such a hurry that I don't think we use them all the time. There's a chipmunk. <laughs> Should be named St. Lori. Oh, Lord. This is rose gold. Yes, ma'am. I had to get in my rose gold stash. I put it up. This is my Christmas stash. Um, for the discount is CREATE, C-R-E-A-T-E, -E, all capitals. Ugh, you just got tons of tornado warnings. I'm so sorry. Thank you for floating my boat. That's awesome. All right. We're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. See why I already started? Because this is a process. We are making an angel, an angel, an angel. Hello from Alberta. You fly, floated your boat and threw a wreath in your pool. <laughs> I'm about to throw, if my husband's phone goes off one more time, I'm gonna throw his phone in there. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you can you can get the boards from um, from Amazon, from Craft Outlet, from Trendy Tree, um, but you do not get the discount unless you order it directly from Unique in the Creek. Yeah, 
You're back. I missed you. She's not really going to have a face per se. Um, so this is her head. But I do still need to seal the ball because it just dried. Um, so I'm not going to attach it today. But it's just a half styrofoam ball. So she's not going to have a face per se, eyes and all that. But I just, I don't. I don't know, I don't like faces on my angels. This is, yes, this is just regular deco mesh, a very thin deco mesh. That's why I sealed it. Even though you don't see the cut edges with this fold. <laughs> What's this thing about the boat? <laughs> Since Facebook doesn't like for you to say the word S-H-A-R-E. I came up with a phrase, y'all go float my boat. And that's a hint to S-H-A-R-E, my page or my live or, or whatever. That's just me being funny. If you've never watched me before, I try to be funny. Sometimes it's a really dry sense of funny, but. <laughs> So my thinking was, if y'all float my boat, then I get to keep sailing, right? I get to keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you so much. Oh, did you buy the coconut ones too? Thank you. <laughs> oh, these boards are awesome. Go to Unique in the Creek um, dot com, or you can go to on Facebook, hit the Shop Now button. And um, I should have brought all the boards out here. I could have showed y'all, um, but I don't. Um, but this is the tree board. This is what the back looks like. Now you can use either side. Um, and normally I would have used this side, but I wasn't thinking when I started. I generally only use the white side if I'm using white mesh, but I'd already started and I wasn't gonna take them out. So, um, but this is what the back looks like. You generally use zip ties, um, 18 pound zip ties. I generally use five and a half inch um, zip ties, 18 pounds, um, but you could use pipe cleaners too, which I do. Um, on some of my other wreaths using, not this board, but the flower board where you can make your roses, sunflowers, all that kind of stuff. So go check them out, you will love it. Yeah, if they don't like it, why name it that, right? This is kind of like the, this is the, um, let me show you on a regular. This is the Swedish braid. So generally, now I do it a little bit different because I pull the edges when I'm doing this, but generally a Swedish braid. Now, of course, this is the larger version. Usually the, they're not this big. Now for this one, I'm pulling this in to elongate it but generally when I do the sweetest braid, I don't. So that's, it's kind of the same thing. Um, or you can, can bring it down however you want, um, but this kind of gives it a more finished look, whereas the deco mesh is still so pliable that but this is fabric mesh, so it holds up a little bit better, but People use it for the, the Swedish braid. A goldfish? What y'all talking about? What y'all be talking about? Oh, 
Um, hit the digital inserts and you'll see all of um, the faces, all of the digital inserts you can put on the character board. Um, I mean, there's faces, there's all kinds of sayings, all different kinds of stuff in there. Yes, it's under digitals. All right. Should have brought my water. I didn't grab my water. Okay, so here is where I'm thinking we're gonna start the wings. So I'm leaving these empty and I'm gonna do the three right here in the center, okay? Go get my water. <laughs> we are making an angel. My dog, yeah, I think, I don't know if she's all there, y'all. She's over here licking the floor. I don't know what she's doing. it goes when you've got all your petals ready to go. I'm going, I'll show you. I got my handy dandy template right here. <laughs> Red curve mixed extrava again. <laughs> so this is kind of what I'm thinking. So if y'all can see this, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first, the bottom six rows, I did all the way across. And then I'm leaving the ones on the edges open because that's where I'm going to put the wings. And so I'm kind of just making a triangle right there in the middle. So I'm thinking I'm going to go all the way up. But like I said, I haven't made this in many moons. So it's kind of like I'm doing it for the first time again. <laughs> Thank you. You have your notebook out now. <laughs> Y'all, those templates are so handy. They really are because it's something you can like, you don't have to try to remember what you did, how you made something eight months ago. You got it right here, write it down, and then all you have to do is bring out your template and you're set. You know exactly what you need to do, right? You wanna screenshot it? There you go, screenshot away. Five, four, three, two, one, gone. <laughs> The template is right next, good, okay. The template is right next, if when you go to order your boards, like say you clicked on the tree board, it'll the template will be right next to it. Um, just click on it, just right click, save it to a page, and then you've always got it. And do it for all of them. Do it for the character board, the, the tree board, the, uh, the flower board, all of them. I print out 20 of each at a time. That way I always have them. So anytime I'm coming up with a new design, it automatically gets laid out first. And then I go to the board. But no, yeah, they don't come with the board. Just download them and print them. I 
the best. Okay, so we're going to do one more. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, I did it. Okay, never mind. I'm second guessing myself here, y'all. You do it all backwards, you design and then put it on your, uh uh, not me, I can't. I gotta lay it all out and kinda know exactly how many pieces I need. And I mean, especially when you're doing it live. I mean, y'all know I already make a fool out of myself on a live. But if I already kinda have it laid out, then I'm not so foolish. <laughs> It's kind of wonky. Yes, this video will always be under my videos. Y'all, every one of my, I get so many questions a day. Where's this video? Where's that? They are all under my videos. So on the heading, you'll see home, you'll see photos, you'll see videos. Click on the videos, scroll down a little bit, Click on the all videos and all of my videos will come up. They are all there. I always post them. I never take them down. So they are all there. So y'all can go back and, and look at them or you can save them uh, to your phone and you'll always have them. And it's free. It's free, y'all. Absolutely, absolutely. She has robot fingers. <laughs> this is rose gold. Yes, I went into my Christmas stash and got my rose gold out for this order. All right, so we're to the one here. You save them to your phone. Yeah, it's a great way to keep them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm thinking I've got... I've got one more. Let's fill that in. It's on my template, so let's just fill it in. If I don't need it... I can always take it out. You want a kit? I'll look into them. I didn't even think about doing this one as a kit. Um, you know, I really, this was an order that she wanted um, done this month. So I, I usually think Christmas when I think angels. Um, so I really wasn't thinking, you know, kit, do a kit. Um, but I can definitely look into it. It's a four inch styrofoam ball. No, not free. Well, my videos are free. How about that? That's what I meant. I can charge y'all for them if you want. <laughs> there you go. Yes, absolutely. You don't have any character boards, girl. You better get some. You like the kit around Christmas? Well, I'm telling y'all, I mean, some people are already, I'm behind the ball. I'm behind the eight ball. So my patriotic should have already been done and I shouldn't be working on it, but I am. Um, so I should already be working on, um, I've got something I've, I'm in the works. I ain't gonna tell you but I'm working on it. Um, and it's gonna be all about Halloween, fall and Christmas soon, within the next month. Y'all, do you hear that phone? 
What the heck? Sorry, y'all. Hold on. William, don't get your phone. It's your mom, I think. It's ringing off of her. Sorry, y'all. That's my, my husband's mother. So I don't know what's going on. Um, so there's what we have so far. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way across. And then we're angling all the way up. Okay. Another creeper clown. <laughs> um, this came from the reshop. The reshop, the reshop, the reshop. Sorry, y'all. I gotta get some water. I'm dying. I'm dying. Hold on, let me get in, bruh. All right, sorry, y'all. Huh? No, you're good. Okay. So, these are our wings. It's the gold and cream. That's what we call it. Why? Where did this form come from? This is from Unique in the Creek. So, we are just going to just going to do the basic sunflower petal. Okay, I believe that's how I did mine last time. Um, oh, there you go. Look at Lori. Y'all go float my boat. So I'm just gonna scrunch corner to corner. So just like that, and then kind of angle. Oh, that's wonky. That's wonky. Let's try that again. I don't like that one either. You have the new tree boards? I don't even have them yet. We go that's gonna be our wing how pretty is that look at that gold in there perfect for the rose gold and then I didn't clip these because our wings are gonna sit right on top of that and we're just gonna zip tie them in just like that. How pretty is that? Thank you, thank you. What'd you say, Linda? What's everybody laughing about? Now, I was even thinking of doing, like you can do an outside petal here to kind of make a gown going down the side. Um, I'm not sure the client wants that, but that came into my head. You could do some kind of fold so that it looks like the gown is going down. Um, so maybe next time, maybe next time I'll look at that. Yeah, I love this gold. It's perfect to go with the rose gold. I'm just getting.
getting all wonky. <laughs> yes, I cut these at 10 inches. I'm just making sure they're kind of even. And we're gonna go right into the next one. Looks like I may need to go back and add another petal here, but I'll get these done um, and then we'll see what it looks like. Um, the rose gold is from the reshop and I believe this gold I got actually from Hobby Lobby last year at Christmas. Would you put to the side? You you want it down the side? There she is. This is hers. This is her angel. I just missed it. Let me know again if you want it down the side as well. And we can make some kind of a... Uh... Some kind of like a coat. I think that would be pretty. Yes, okay, awesome. I get to play. So yeah, I am gonna have to go in and add a petal there. Let's see where this... Oh yeah. Well, you're still not going to be, you're not going to see the side on mine because the, these will kind of get angled out um, once I'm done. So you're still not going to see the side on this one, but all right, let's do one more there. Now you know what this is. <laughs> Everybody loves rose gold. Well, not everybody, because I'm not really a fan of it. Until, well, until I saw those Nikes. And then I was like, I've got to have a pair. <laughs> got to have a pair. There's my scrapbook it all over the floor, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Only me. Only me. All right, so I'm gonna go to this side and I'm gonna see exactly how many pieces I'm gonna need. Yeah, I'll look into making some kits if y'all wanted some. Um, I really hadn't thought about it because I figured it might be kind of soon for all of y'all. Um, but I'll, I'll look into it. I'll price it out for y'all.
I'm thinking eight. I'm thinking eight. Thank y'all for floating my boat. Now you can already have these ready to go as well, but I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. Thank you, thank you. You're not making it for anyone but you. <laughs> All right, let's get another one. It's floating away. These are 10 by 10. I just like working with even pieces. You can do 9 by 10. <laughs> Um, this came from Hobby Lobby at Christmas. I heat sealed it. That's why you see no fraying because this is really thin mesh. Um, I did. I went ahead and heat sealed it so I didn't have to worry about it. Anything with this much metallic, with this much foil going through it, is gonna fray like the Dickens. So just heat seal it, and then you won't be cussing. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. I have an impulse sealer. So it, it seals and cuts the edges at the same time. Otherwise, this would have been a hot mess already. It would have been fraying horribly. They are 10 by 10 and they do not come cut. Correct. Correct. Um, I got my heat sealer from Amazon. Now I'm putting a ruffle here. So the ruffle is gonna go around her neck, but I'm thinking Got three more pieces, so I need to be careful what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do, let me see something. Let me see, let me see. Because this was the last of my stash. That'll work. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do a shared hole. So if y'all can see that, I'm gonna go from here to here and I'm gonna put an extra petal on each side 
to fill that gap. Can y'all see what I'm doing? The comments are in the way, so I, I can't tell if y'all can see. You can smell it. <laughs> I like to share. So I'm just gonna tuck it down under these wings. So I'm gonna mark on my template what I'm doing. So that's one, two, three. So right here, I'm doing a shared hole on each side. So you want to screenshot that again? Michelle Donette. <laughs> and we're going to do one more on that side. Oh, I missed that. What'd you say, Michelle? I missed what you said. Would a regular meal a seal work for the mesh? Um, wonky is your new favorite word. <laughs> um, you could use a wood burning tool. Um, any of those kinds of things would work. Um, I like the, the impulse sealer. You definitely want to do it outside if you're going to seal it because plastic is dangerous. Um, so if you're going to do it, do it outside or wear a respirator. These tails are just ending up everywhere now because... My bucket fell. All right, got that gap filled. I don't use a wood burning tool. I use the impulse sealer. And if you go under my videos, I have um, a video um, loaded there where I showed y'all how to seal all different kinds of mesh. So um, you can go look at that. All right, so there we are so far. And then the ruffle, I'm gonna put a ruffle right here. So I'm gonna add that to my template and we're gonna put a ruffle. Right there. The head is just a half of a, a, a four inch styrofoam ball that I cut in half with my styrofoam cutter. Um, so it's like a heated plate that just runs right through them. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing a ruffle. <laughs> I'm doing a ruffle. And I'm just gonna curve it down so that it'll cup right around that head. I wanna, kinda wanna make sure they're even as much as they can be. Okay, 
And so I'm just putting it right there and I'm gonna zip tie that right in place. Yeah, I'll hold it up again and y'all can, um, y'all can screenshot it, absolutely. Oh, see, I missed it. <laughs> Let's try it again. Silly one that's first in the gallery. <laughs> Let's try that one more time, y'all. So we're gonna get all of that in there this time. y'all I hadn't made this in forever. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna add, let me see what this looks like. Let me see, let me see. Gonna see what it looks like adding another Another wing right here. It's coming together. It's taken me a minute. I looked at the pictures of the one I did earlier, but. I used um, khaki. Don't ask for the name again, because I totally butchered it earlier, but it's khaki. <laughs> Build as you go, absolutely. Sometimes that's the best way to do it. And that's the great thing about these boards, because you can modify it as you go. So I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'll hold it up when I know that's all I'm doing. <laughs> When I know that's all I'm doing. One more, one more. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're telling them how to screenshot? Okay. I'll hold it up in just a second. I just want to make sure this is going to this is going to work. Get it back over 
right here where y'all can see it. I kind of slid it out of your way, didn't I? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, where did my... Okay, so there's kind of where we're at. You can see all of that. So she's got her little ruffle, her little wings. Um, four, but I'm not sure I have enough cut to work on the coat so I was thinking kind of let me move this head out of my way kind of do like right here you could do a shared hole so you could go from here to the side and use the side as well um, so that's what I'm kind of thinking but it's gonna take more than I've got cut and I'm not gonna cut it with a rotary tool with a rotary cutter because I want to seal it. Um, so I'll just, let me think, let me think. Let's go all the way in, crisscross. And let's kind of see. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm just gonna play because I've only got two petals. So y'all can y'all can stand me for two more minutes, right? Because I just want to see what this looks like. <laughs> no, Rose, no girl. <laughs> And if I don't like it, I can just take it out. Well, that didn't lay exactly like I wanted, but you kind of get the idea. So it would look something, something. Oh, you know what I could have done? That's what I could have done. Hold on. I can fold it down like that. Did y'all just see that? Go back in there. may have to zip tie the actual petal and then zip tie it again to the board. But something like that would be pretty too, huh? What y'all think about that? What you think, what you think? I don't know how it clicked on that flag. So I'll have to play. I'll play with how to get a coat down there. But I'd probably have to zip tie that, that petal. Kind of like that. That's what I was shooting for, but we'll see. It will look like extended wings, so that won't work, huh? You don't like that? 
Yeah, I'll have to play and see what else I can find in there. So, so yeah, so this is what we've got, y'all. And then I'll play with the bottom a little bit more. Bring y'all up. So there she is. She's big, y'all. I'm on my tippy toes. What y'all think? Isn't she pretty? You like it better without the coat? Deco tubing for what? Oh, I'm like 10 comments behind. Do it in the rows. I'll have to see, I'll have to look and see if I have some more rows. Um, or maybe just a cream with no gold in it. But I'll look and see what I have. I think that was the last of my rose gold, y'all. Look how sparkly. I can't wait to get a picture of this in the sun. Isn't she pretty? And then I still have to seal the head, so I'll get that sealed tomorrow. I will get it sealed tomorrow. So what y'all think? Easy enough. So all y'all people that have never done these boards before, see how easy they are? Anybody can do them. So don't be intimidated. Just get in there and play. Play, play, play. <laughs> so y'all go order your boards, Unique in the Creek. Use my code at checkout, all capitals, C-R-E-A-T-E and save you 10%. And um, I will post pictures of this gorgeous lady tomorrow out in the sun because I think we're finally getting sun. Y'all didn't want to see that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Absolutely. Go watch the replay. Uh-oh, I froze up on you. So here she is. If you just popped on, this is what we did tonight. So our little, I say little angel, but she ain't little, y'all. She's big. How big is she? Once I get the head on her, she will be 27, 27 inches long. So she's a big girl. She's almost half my height. <laughs> That's wrong. The halo, I took the styrofoam filler balls that you all have seen me use on the ends of my um, ties, and I hot glued them to a, um, a pipe cleaner, and then just kind of tucked it around the back and I've just done it temporarily for now. Um, and then as you curve the pipe cleaner, they kind of spread out. And so that's the kind of look you get. And I love that look. I love that look, but it'll, it'll come down. It'll be more like that when I'm done. So it's only on there temporary until I get the, the head sealed. So yes, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Um, I hope tomorrow you have a great day. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I might jump on and do another live. Might as well go for seven days, right? Yes, code is CREATE, all capitals, C-R-E-A-T-E. The glitter balls, I missed that. I missed the glitter ball comment. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm 75 comments behind. Lord have mercy. Oh, pattern. I spelled ruffle wrong. <laughs> I told you it was one of those kinds of days. Y'all got it? You got your screenshot? It's easy. Just take your time. Don't get frustrated. 
and have fun with it. If you're not having fun with it, then put it aside and walk away. Come back to it. Don't get frustrated. Um, you really, you can't see the board when you're looking at her head on. Mm -mm. No, not when you're looking at, now when you turn it to the side, yeah. But when you're looking at her face on, you can't see the board. Can you? I can't see it. You got it? All right. Awesome. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. I got tons of them at Christmas. I got like, oh, I actually got the bag right here. So this was one. Um, so these are, they're kind of a, the big ones are kind of a green, um, but then the tiny ones are kind of the cream. Um, but they come in, I got like 10 bags of each. So this is, so that's what the kind of green looks like and it comes with the cream um, for, oh, they've got, um, where did those others go? This is their 4th of July. Oh, there goes the glass. This is their 4th of July. Get away. Go. This is the 4th of July ones. Um, so it's got the red, white, and blue. So they have all kinds out there. So, um, But I'll kind of stick these on my ends of my pipe cleaners or whatever just to add a little sparkle, a little shine. So, yeah. Yeah, that was my glass. So I've got... <laughs> A bucket of zip ties and everything over there and I've got a broken glass here so it's it's a, it's gonna be a good night y'all <laughs> all right I'm out of here I gotta clean up this mess y'all have a great day if I don't see you tomorrow have a great Mother's Day enjoy because um, I'll probably be out there by the pool for a little bit so y'all have a great night bye